Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Govberg, and thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Hublot Big Bang Chrono Perpetual Calendar. You can see this 2015 10th anniversary special on our website, govbergwatches.com. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our app, Govberg On Time, for the latest news, views, and reviews of luxury watches. Now, on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that the Chrono Perpetual Calendar is the classical image of the Unico Big Bang. Now, the Unico is just a bit larger, brasher, and a bit more extrovert than the original, first conceived in 2005. For 2015, the Unico was upgraded with a perpetual calendar to create the anniversary model that you see here. Now, this variant in titanium wears light on the wrist, but it's imposing in size. 45 millimeters across the round of the case is more of an academic measurement. As you can see, there is no round portion of the case across which to take that diagonal measurement. Now, in terms of thickness, the perpetual calendar does add to the girth. 17 millimeters, you're not going to get this underneath any kind of tight sleeve or cuff. And from lug to lug, it's, again, quite imposing. 57 millimeters from the flank of one lug to its opposite number. The watch is huge. And unless you have a wrist like Shaq or a card-carrying lumberjack, the bottom line is this thing's going to look look big on your wrist. So if you're into the oversized watch look, feel, and vibe, this is a great choice because it's as refined on the inside as it is brash on the outside. Before we dig into the Unico Caliber 1270, it's worth mentioning that everything attached to the titanium case helps the ergonomic cause of the watch. It could be worn on a wrist as small as 15 centimeters, and here's why. Titanium, ceramic, and rubber makes for a very light wrist feel, and the rubber strap from Hublot is the best in the business. Now, there's, this was their original signature in 1980 when the company debuted as MDM Genève. The bottom line is that today, they're not so much a radical for pairing rubber with gold as they are for pairing many materials in fusion. Here you can see that taper of the strap, both in profile and from overhead, is beautifully integrated into the lines of the case. It looks very progressive, gradual, and natural. The strap is also wonderfully flexible. Although it's thick where it abuts the lug, it tapers off rapidly and becomes soft, so it can conform to the curve of the underside of the wrist. Now, it's matched to a beautiful single-fold deployment clasp, executed in titanium with a ceramic insert on the outside which you can see here. It also features a pin buckle so that you don't have to cut the rubber strap to size as you do with some sports watches that come on rubber straps. You can simply size it and then tuck the excess into a minderless system that hides the extra strap underneath the swing arm of the clasp. Now when closed, it's a twin trigger type, which means you need positive disengagement, not friction fit. It can't just pop open by accident. And you'll be glad that it can't because with a retail price of $61,000, this is one of those watches you want to keep safe at home or at the very least stuck on your wrist. The bottom line is that everything about it backs up the attitude of the traditional Hublot bigger and badder billing. You have the combination of the externalized structure of the watch, the composite inserts, the visible bezel gasket. You see the signature titanium H pattern, titanium bezel bolts in ceramic, doubly finished with a polished flank and a brushed top. You can see that on this anniversary model, even the screws have been thoughtfully finished with polished circumferences and satin centers. Now, Hublot does feature one of the best lug interface systems in the business with a push button quick release. You can quickly swap in a textile, leather, rubber strap, or even a bracelet. And if you know how to operate a car safety belt, this should be second nature. But it is the dial that really strikes you, because this is where the watch sets itself apart from a conventional Unico. Now you can see there is a second sapphire beneath the cap sapphire, and that forms the platform for all of the sub-registers, as well as the applied hour indices, all of them seemingly floating above the caliber 1270. You can see that there is a day, date, month, and leap year indicator for the perpetual calendar, as well as a unique moon phase, where you have two moons one underneath a bosom style frosted or smoked sapphire. So it's a bosom style moon phase and you have two moons. One is always visible as a ghosted outline beneath that smoked portion. S surprisingly subtle and surprisingly poetic for Hublot, a brand that's not known for either quality. And on the case back, you can see the rest of the show. The Caliber 1270 is a remarkable in-house execution by Hublot. With a three-day power reserve, efficient unidirectional winding, ceramic rotor bearings, it has a completely unlubricated pallet and escape wheel made of silicon for long-wearing durability. Again, with that three-day power reserve and efficient automatic winding, 
It creates an additional element of practicality for a watch that, in every other respect, simply eschews the concept. It's nice to know that with a complex calendar, including a moon phase, you can put the watch down for a day or two and not have to worry about it simply running down and requiring resetting. And speaking of resetting, Hublot has integrated a very clever system of pusher correctors, because at first glance you simply don't see them. It's only at second or maybe third glance that you note that the bezel gasket has been hollowed out to make room for the pusher correctors along its flank. It's one of the cleanest treatments of independent correctors that I've seen on any luxury watch at any price point in any genre. You can see this unique combination of Hublot Unico Movement Perpetual Calendar and Big Bang Style and buy it on our website, govbergwatches.com.